Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. Once more, we have our special guest, Harinam Singh Khalsa. Harinam, to my right, has been with us in several episodes before, and we've loved having him here every time, even though quietly, I know I am calling him names. But Harinam, welcome back. Thank you so much for your time, your expertise, and your experience that you share with us right here on the mat. Every time we leave the mat with a session with you, we go home feeling totally recharged. So thank you for coming back. To my extreme right, we have Yael Reed. Yael is a producer here at Manhattan Neighborhood Network. She has her own show, Manifest for TV. And as you can see, she is dressed all in yellow in the third chakra color. So Yael, welcome back. Yael no, talks a lot about, she has a lot of wonderful discussions about chakras. She brings guests on her show, so if you want to know more about chakras, please do visit her website as well, Manifest for TV, the four, the number four. Number four, TV. yes. We have another new face, a very uh, someone new to our show, Michael Angelo. Michael, welcome so to much. our show. Thank and so I much. notice you have the yellow chakra yes. as well. Yes, so you must be. Are you going to be on Yael's show today as well, right? Yes, I okay. am. Okay, so I can. Co-host with Yael. Your co-host yes, with am. Yael. Thank you. And do you co-host the show together often? Every time, every week, once a week on Monday night at 8.30, we're together. I think I've together. seen your clip on your website. Yeah, that's me. Oh, that's you. <laughs> okay, got it. I saved my Manifest mustache for off. TV. Okay, yeah. Oh, is that what it yeah. was? Okay, you're in disguise. <laughs> Welcome, Michelangelo. Thank Good to so have much. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lana is not here with us today, but Lana is actually observing today, so she's sending us all her positive energy. Lana, you are our inspiration, so thank you for being here. Ron Thomas has his own show here at Manhattan Neighborhood Network as well. Big talk. Ron, what's the latest topic on your show? Uh, what are we talking about? Uh, Other than gonna, Yoga Express. We're going to do numerology this week, actually. Oh, numerology, okay. And you're live as well. Every yeah, we have Thursday. Lloyd Strayhorn coming on this week. Who? Lloyd Strayhorn. Uh, all right, I shouldn't be asking who that is. I'm supposed to know, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I know you always have very uh, current topics, right, on your show. Welcome back to I'm our show. I'm a Kundalini well. enthusiast. You what? <laughs> kundalini yoga. Enthusiast. You're a Kundalini yoga enthusiast. You're in the right place, yeah. mate. Thanks to our director Josiane Her. Josiane is manning the fort all by herself today in the control room. Josiane, thank you so much for being there when we needed you most. Thanks to Richard Swanson for the studio lights and the setups. For those of you who have not met our mascot yet, please meet Oscar right up. Oscar the turtle on the wall. Harina, are you going to be gentle with us as you promised before we started taping? <laughs> I am a man of my word. Oh, thank you. We love you. But when I'm tough, you know, I, I'm <laughs> honest about that too. Right. Okay. Uh, We're ready for you. be easy said. Well, why don't we first tune in and then I'll talk about okay. the class. I think that's mm -hmm. the best way to do it. So again, for the people who haven't done it, we, in Kundalini Yoga, we always do a, this chant, Om Namo, Guru Dev Namo, three times. And this is uh, an ancient thing that really kind of connects us to all those who've taught this for right. generations before. And it roughly means uh, that I bow to the creator and the infinity, and I bow to the teacher within my own self, okay? Center the chest, and inhale, exhale, inhale. Om Namo. couple of times I've been here we've been doing sets I like to do things kind of in clusters right. and so the latest cluster I've been in has actually had to do with um, and as, as I'm always mentioning all these sets have different benefits yeah so the sets I the cluster of sets I've been teaching recently actually 
came out of a manual of sets that were mostly for women. Men can do them too, but of particular interest to women. They have to do with these sets enhancing your, your radiance and your beauty in many ways and just right. your glow. Right. You know, they do this on, I know, on all the cosmetic uh, commercials. Oh, you look glowing, you know. I but actually, even... actually, if you put on a lot of that stuff, you look like crap. Right. <laughs> you know, you know, you'll last year and on, but, you know. They said, like, I, I was reading this recently, like, Queen Elizabeth. I mean, the old, not the original, not the, you know, back from uh, hundreds of years ago. Right. That back then, they used to put on so much makeup. It yes. would be like five to six layers. Yes. And they never took baths back then. Yes. Now, very true. rarely. Yes. They stunk. <laughs> yes. And they're getting this thing. And it's all, you can imagine, yes. you're not taking a bath. You're putting on layers of all this stuff so that people look chalky. And, of course. Um, Why would they do that? Uh, they're not very conscious. <laughs> That's why. Uh, they you know, it's infections a, on their faces. Oh, of because course. Their skin of wasn't course. Able to they did. They have no right. toxins. Really? Yes. Well, it's just the society, man. There's right. lack of, I mean, at the end, why? It's just a lack of consciousness, self awareness. I mean, it's not even healthy. We should got her to do Kundalini yoga. Yeah, well, that may have been worse because they try to sweat and they can't <laughs> sweat. Yes, yes. And then they'd have boils all over That's their faces, it. right? Uh -oh. So that wouldn't be very good. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, um, I'm French, but I'm cleaning myself. Yeah, <laughs> but, but you know, uh, when we're teaching these things, we really want to teach people how to take care of yourself so you can glow. You know, there's From a radiance about you. Mm -hmm. And so this has a lot to do with your exercise. This has a lot to do with what you eat. This has a lot to do with how you take care of your body. It's on many levels. So this particular uh, set we're going to do is actually specifically for the skin. So wow. how many times have you done a yoga set for the skin? Mm -hmm. But this is actually a set for the skin because a lot of times that we, we, we forget, and any you know, doctor will tell you that your skin is actually an organ itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's wrapped around, you got miles of this stuff, but right. your skin actually has pores and it breathes. It's like, so in other words, you breathe through your uh, nose, but you're actually breathing at all times through your, through your skin, skin. Right. you know? Right. And, and one of the things I, I learned early on from uh, my teacher, for instance, because he had all these health things too. And for instance, in this society, you know, we, we, we're lopping on that deodorant. And, uh, yeah. But you can't, sw but the I thing is, is that God gave us these, these the organs. Pores, right? they're, they're, they're actually, a now we breathe because the people have to understand that it's good to sweat right. because when you sweat, you get these toxins out of your that's body it. because if you don't get these toxins out of your body, then it recirculates back that's into it. your body mm -hmm. and that's how you get very sick. So they're toxic. So practicing yoga, you know, one of the things we want to get these things actually sweat out of your system, right? right? right. So um, things like deodorant, for instance, may not be that helpful because you're lopping that stuff off exactly where your body is eliminating A prostate and gamble is going to come after you. Well, <laughs> you know, we should go after them because, uh, because in a way, it's a slow death. I mean, they're doing this is actually very, uh, you know, you want to smell well, but actually um, a lot of the way that you smell like people like, oh my God, I just can't stay in the same room as this person. But a lot of it is because of what they're eating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if they're right. eating very toxic stuff, right. that right. stuff's got to get out of their system. You go, oh my God, that's horrible. But like if they eat meat, for instance, it's like you're really smelling a dead body. Right. Because it, it's actually the meat is like a dead body. The toxins get out of Well, oh that is God. something that's always bothered me. I always wonder why and I'm, I mean, I'm a culprit too, but I just want to know, why would we put a dead body, a creature into a living body? Uh, why do well, people you know, I think, I think that um, there's a number of reasons. Uh, it's it's, it's a big, but okay. uh, I mean, a lot of it is just how you're, you're, you're socialized when you're right. younger, that right. this is, now I know that, you know, when I was younger, I ate, I ate meat and, uh, I liked it. I liked the taste of it. I, I didn't think twice about it. And then I became a vegetarian. And a very interesting thing happened to me is that this gets back to the skin. When I became a vegetarian, within a month or two of becoming a vegetarian, I broke out in infections all over my body. Yes. By becoming vegetarian? Yes, because wow. because I think what happened was, and everybody was saying, my mother, my doctor, oh, you know, you, this is crazy, you gotta stop yeah. this, you gotta take this, this antibiotic. But actually, I think what happened was is that 
when I became a vegetarian, all these toxins were trying yes. to get out of my system, right. and they all manifested themselves as boils. And I had to go um, in in like two hours. I had to have big boils. I had to get them lanced. Yes. And then the doctors were saying, oh, this thing, I'm going to put you on this medication. But thank God I didn't do anything. And then God just played itself out. So the out. vegetarian diet was actually detoxing exactly. you, and all that was coming out. But I had no wow. idea, but it was actually detoxing. And in the rest of my life, I never had another infection. But within a month or two, my body was filled with them. So this is this is what happens, and so we want to keep we want to keep your skin uh, like glowing and fresh. We don't want to be covering it up with things. Right. We want to let it breathe. We want to let it get rid of things. Right. And we're not trained to do this. And so it's good to sweat, okay. And and often you can tell if somebody. You, I can pretty much tell if I'm around somebody. It's a summer day and they're sweating. I can pretty much tell what they eat. Right. Because somebody who eats meat actually smells differently than somebody That's who does not. Means. Somebody's got the coffee habit like me, you can smell that coffee coming out of my skin. I'm like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. My wife, who doesn't drink coffee, she goes, were you drinking coffee today? Right. Is it coming? It's coming out of your system. I can already like, see. He's going to make drinking us sweat alcohol, today. You can right. smell Same thing. Oh, alcohol is just reeking. Yes. You yes. can see it. Or, yes. I don't know, yes. of course, tobacco. Yes. And the, the stuff is in your system, and it's got to get out. Right. And, and, that's, and that's why So that's why we have these eliminative organs. Thanks for so. the advance warning. You're going to make us sweat today. Uh, not a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. But, but, but the thing like is, again, the, the thing, it's good to sweat. It's healthy to sweat. And we have have to take care of our skin the same way we take care of other things. You know, you want to clean it with, with, with you know, uh, healthy things. A lot of the soaps and the th things we have right now are actually garbage. Yeah. And you put it on and they actually don't clean you, they actually cover up these things so you can't sweat. So, you know, we have to be very careful that, you know, we're caring for this skin because um, this is, if your skin is not healthy, you're not healthy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you have to take care of this skin. And so, oddly enough, even in this uh, thing, we, we have yoga sets just for the skin. And, and when you are healthy inside and your skin's healthy, there's a natural tendency that you're gonna be glowing. Yes. Right. Yes. And this is a lot of the women these days, they're paying a lot of money for the cosmetics and all this because they wanna present this. But sometimes this glow they have is actually not them. It's something glittering that's in a bottle. Right. But underneath that, their skin is like dead and their spirit is dead. Mm -hmm. So what you want, you want to have somebody who has an expansive spirit, mm -hmm. they're healthy and glowing, and it's natural. They don't, you know, the most beautiful women in the world that I know actually don't even need to use cosmetics. Because right. they have that glow without it. Mm -hmm. It's the That's truth. It. It's the truth. So this is, this is we need to re-educate people. Yes. You don't need to buy beauty. It's it's within you. Yes, it's Thank within. You. Yes. Can be so inexpensive, right? Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's less than inexpensive. It's free. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, quick music. Clarification. Oh yes. Sorry, just a uh, quick clarification. I heard from one of my yoga teachers. Every time we move, there's something called lymph fluids that move yes. under the skin. Mm -hmm. So yes. that helps. Mm -hmm. Yes. Part of the glowing process. Well, and is I, that I, what's I, happening? I think all that stuff is happening. I'm not okay. an ex. I wouldn't call myself okay. an no, expert. Okay. No, I was that. just trying to understand how we, is it because of the circulation is the blood going to the I skin mm -hmm. right okay the sorry Josiane could we have the music yeah, and as they said the, the, the skin are like a second lung mm -hmm. right yeah That's people it. don't think but it, it actually breathes and it has its own That's it. its own terrain and it's the wow. biggest organ. It it's is the, the biggest, biggest organ, organ in the body. In the, the body, it's wow. the skin. Okay. There you go. Okay, there we go. Now legs out in front. Okay. And this is what we're going to do. It's very easy. We're going to just start like, like we're running. Yeah, it's like that. That's all it is. And you know, my I'm hitting as a, as a, as each leg is going down. I'm, I'm hitting the floor with that. You can even hear it. You can hear my legs hitting. Right? If you're doing it right, you actually can feel the back of your knee hitting the ground. I've seen kids do this when they want their own way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want an ice cream. Sometimes adults do it too. <laughs> and actually, this is a nice, uh, you know, this is kind of a nice movement, even if it's just kind of relax. Real and relax. But you want to do this uh, quick enough that we kind of just you know, build up a little body heat. And 
to sweat in a little bit. Whoa. How about going to Hamam and Sona for sweating too? It's good for the skin then too, right? What's that? Hamam and Sona. Hamam and Sona. I don't yeah. know that. Sauna. Sauna. Oh, sauna. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, sauna. French accent. Yeah, the saunas are good, although you have to be a little careful with them. I like them myself, but you have to be careful to drink fluids because yes. actually the sauna is good getting out thing. And sometimes people go in the sauna because they want to lose weight, but it's not really losing weight. They're losing just water. They're losing water. sweat weight. Right? Losing water, right. And, and so it's, uh, I have that tendency myself, so I like saunas, but sometimes I go in and I get dehydrated. So it's not actually healthy, and that's why some people get a little Don't light give up, My knee is killing me. <laughs> Ron, keep me company. Oh, oh gosh. Is that good? Okay, now here we go. Here's the fun part of it. Now I want you to keep on going, but now like this. Here. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that's a very sacred chant as well. <laughs> the whoa chant. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> there we go. This looks kind of cool on the TV, too. <laughs> There we go, so we're moving. Yeah, there you go. And you want to be doing this a couple times per second. Come on, Lana, you can do it in the chair. Move your arms. <laughs> That's it, <really beautiful. laughs> Well done. It's like doing belly dance on the floor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Engine slowing down. <laughs> there you go. Now, now you're probably getting a little into the slight sweat stage here. Ah, yes, that's what's that. happening. Okay. Yeah, that's what you want. Just a slight. Break sweat. Keep up the good work, Michelangelo. Cover for me while I rest. <laughs> yes, I can hear him like a machine. You know. <laughs> I'll meet you over the hill. <laughs> Remember, I love you. You know, I was using this word. I was using this word earlier, but it's it's something I've, uh, for whatever reason, I've been very uh, conscious of lately. Um, is that? Um, and it's again, I, you know, we're um, it's uh, Fashion Week, and so you see all these. I, it's interesting because I was actually at Starbucks earlier today, around Columbus Circle, and there's all these models. And I have to say, some people are going to get very mad at me, but I, I, just the truth. So I'm sitting at Starbucks, I'm seeing all these models, and I, I mean, I, I'm sorry for the models out there, I have to say it. It's looking like, people are like, why, why would you do this to yourself? These, it looks like people haven't eaten in like two months, yeah. and I think they haven't. And this is considered to be beautiful in this society, and okay, I, I get it. I get there's some kind of subjective view of beauty, but my God, you're really, you're really damaging your body here. You're damaging your body. This is not healthy. It's not healthy not to eat, and this is not genetic. I can look at you, and you're not eating. I'm sorry, you're not eating, and you can kill yourself. Hey, Chuck. I mean, it's a very strong statement, but I saw people today, they're like literally, I'm sorry, Shit. literally skin on bones. Mm. Well, and I heard the perspective of that is because designer, they spend less money on fabric. Yeah, well, <laughs> I can see some people and they That's basically needed practical. a handkerchief. Yeah. <laughs> because just... you could put a handkerchief over some of these bodies. And I'm sorry, I, I, I felt bad. I felt bad. I mean, it's, and it's very, uh, a very uh, monetized view of beauty. But these, these, uh, this is not how a human body was meant to be, to this thing. So I'm sorry, somebody's got to say it, so I'm the one who said it. And, and the other thing is that um, it goes with the cosmetics. Go keep on, moving, keep, keep moving, because uh, this is a little long one. It's, it goes along oh, with it's the, a long the, one. The, <laughs> this goes along with the cosmetics, is that I am very honored in my life to always be around very saintly people. And these people have a natural like glow, us? just like you, Bono, of course. That's why I'm here. <laughs> but no, you are. You are one of those people, and they have a very natural glow to them. And it's, it's a very simple, honest, elegant glow that comes from their, their soul. And I was watching these people today, and I was seeing so many of them, and I, you can't fool me with your makeup. I can actually see who you are. Mm. And there's a tremendous amount of pain and suffering there. And you can put all the makeup and all the little handkerchiefs over your body, but it's not going to cover up the fact that you're lonely and that you're sad. And that's not, and you could put organic uh, 
makeup on, but that the glow has really got to come from within. And a person who feels mm. that glow from within knows the difference between a real glow yes. and, and a glow yes. that you yes. buy out of a box. Yes, yes, artificial. It's a big difference, and then it's one of the problems we have in the society is that the people think they can take the shortcut, they buy a bottle of happiness. But well, I like that expression, bottle of happiness. Bottle, but that's what the people are selling. But it's not, you know, you know, I, I actually, the other day, I, to the contrary, I actually saw a woman who I started, I looked at her, I, I, I broke out laughing because I realized, you know, actually, this woman, by anybody's current standards, is not an attractive woman. If you actually would analyze her features, her nose, her face, and all this, you would say, this is an ugly woman. <laughs> but actually, she was so bright and so yes, happy yes. and so elevated that the thing is, she's beautiful. And then on closer inspection, it's like, hey, if she didn't have that inner glow, you'd say she was ugly. So that's her beauty. So that's her beauty. So it's a really important lesson for everybody to know that at the end of the day, the beauty comes from within. And that's how the people see it. And that's the message that we really need to uh, reinforce. Are we there yet? Uh, no, no, no. I'm feeling this is just all filler. I feel like I'm announcing at a baseball game here. This is just all, this is all filler, so you keep going. No, no, you're not done. Oh, you're keep not going? Done. Keep going, keep going. I didn't say no. Good job, Michelangelo. Wow. Yeah, I rode the bicycle. Actually, here. Yeah, after, after a while, you, you, you don't feel it anymore. You the just keep, like going, like just keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. Okay, now come lying on your back. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, quickly. Let's, now this is what we're gonna do. Let's do and that. maybe put the legs in the other direction. Uh, a little mod modest. Okay. Now this is what you're gonna do. check this out. Arms down. Watch. Follow me. He's going up and down. I'm gonna pull, push my pelvis to the floor and then down. Up and down. Up and down. Okay. Very quickly. Did that last night. All right. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. There we go. Everybody's looking very sexy. All right. There we go. All right. Up and down. Up and down. But the legs are straight. Not bent. Knees are not oh. bent. Oh. There you go. Knees are not buried. Oh my God. My hips don't go up if my knees are straight. Are you sure? You're going, yes, I'm absolutely sure. Can't keep my feet down? I'm absolutely sure. No. Oh. Up, there we go. Up and down. But, but push up. Push. Just just pop your pelvis up and down. Up and down. There you go. There you go. I knew you could do that. So your body's put together like everybody else is, right? Is there a breathing pattern that one should uh, uh, maximize? Just let, natural the, breath, let the breath go naturally That's with right, it. You'll yeah, find okay. that your breath goes naturally with it. If it doesn't, you're in trouble. <laughs> you're in trouble, exactly. And Michael, only yes. through the nose. <laughs> only through the nose, is that yes. correct? Only Some through the nose is correct. Right. All right. Okay. 30 seconds. <sighs> That's a sexy position. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I put my feet up. Okay. Okay, inhale. Exhale, now come rolling over onto the stomach. Very quickly, and now the same thing. I'm down like this, and now I'm from my, my <laughs> up and down, okay? I tell you, so this, very is popular. Awesome. this is very popular in Vegas. Very uh, sexy This is set very here. popular in Vegas. <laughs> All right. In hotel room. There we go. Yeah, Here we, we go. We've seen this yoga many times in Las Vegas. That's right. Are <laughs> 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 oh, my toes curled in or flat? Uh, 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 top of the feet on the floor. Right. Ooh. You got it. There we go. There we go. But this is actually, uh, the comedy aside, uh, a lot of people are very blocked off in their pelvis. It's very tight there. So these are things that are very good. So I, I, I'm sure that people tuning in now to see this yoga show are seeing everybody kind of <laughs> flopping up and down on the floor here. Is are you this really a yoga <laughs> show? <laughs> but as we know, there's a lot of stuff on public access. My husband's gonna laugh when he comes. <laughs> we should do this on the subway, correct? <laughs> <laughs> Not on the subway. Okay, 15 more seconds. Where did you say you got your watch again? <laughs> almost there, almost there. Okay, now, okay, inhale. Exhale, now come on to the back. Okay, last thing we're gonna do here. Okay, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just come to like a little cat stretch uh, on yes, both like sides, that. like this. Yeah, yes. just see what I'm doing? Just yes. I'm bending one knee, stretching. Oh, God, that feels good. Bending the knee, stretching. Oh, that feels good. All over. Try to keep your shoulders flat so you're kind of oh. twisting at the at the waist. There you go. Oh, yeah. All the way over. All the way over. Just 
called a cat stretch. Okay, so a little, just like you get out of bed in the morning. So torque one way, torque the other way. A sleeping cat stretch. Very good. Okay, another. I just heard my back. 30 back. seconds, you're almost there. I feel so good. Stretch, stretch, nice. there you go. Very nice. One side, then the next. Okay, very good. Now inhale, exhale, relax. And everybody, relax, relax. We're running the credits here, so we've got a few more minutes. And just take this time to and kind of let your whole body assimilate the energy. We just thought of a name for that where we had to get the pelvis off of the floor. What's the name? How about the caterpillar stretch? The, the caterpillar. caterpillar moves like oh, that. I kind of like, but that was just like the caterpillar would just be moving one part of the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, like we'll stay with the Vegas stretch <laughs> then. I like that one though. <laughs> on behalf of Yael Reed to my extreme right, on behalf of Michelangelo, who is in his own realm, he's here with us, and on behalf of Ron Thomas, and of course our director Josian Hurd. And on behalf of our observer today, Lana Parr, we'd like to thank our special guest, Harinam Singh Khalsa. You are watching Yoga Express. This is Banu Suresh. Tune in every day, Monday through Friday, 1.30 in the afternoon. Closing words of wisdom, Harinam, you have 30 seconds more. Uh, it's your turn. Again, I, I think the, the message of this class is that uh, the beauty is from within, that when you're when you're happy, when you treat yourself with self-respect, and you treat your body well, there'll be a, this is your birthright. This is how you were born to be healthy and radiant, and it'll show. You don't have to buy it out of a bottle. That said, I think we should close with your prayer. It's beautiful. Okay. Let's close with that. And then if we put the music down, we'll do the long time sun. Inhale. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Guide your way on, guide, guide your way, way on, Satnam, 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 that's a wrap.